Hello everyone. I get asked reasonably often about what books I would recommend for people who are new to the trade. And so I'm giving you a little book review on one of my faves, which is Machine Shop Operations and Setups by Lasco Nelson and Porter. This is a machining textbook published by American Technical Publishers. It is still available, uh, although it was last edited in 1973. So it is a bit on the old side here, but then again, so am I. Uh, since it's a machine shop textbook, it covers pretty much everything from the uh, basics of safety and measuring all the way to pretty much every type of machine that you could possibly imagine. The measuring section covers everything from scales to micrometers and pretty much everything in between. The measuring section also has some exercises for reading micrometers, so if you're not uh, particularly confident in your abilities there, that's a good place to start. Uh, and it talks about the different types of micrometers as well, outside mics, inside mics, depth mics, things like that. Uh, so if you're not familiar with those, you can check out that section. Skipping ahead a little bit, um, each section has, uh, there's sections for each type of machine, as you can imagine. I've skipped over sawing and most of the drill press section, but they've got this cool chart right here that shows different point angles for cutting different materials. And I don't personally grind tools to uh, match a certain material unless I have an awful lot of that material to do, but it's still pretty cool to see. For instance, the aluminum hard rubber and wood here recommends a 60 degree angle, uh, same as a center drill. Like I said, I, I wouldn't normally do this. I would just use the drills right out of the box, but it's still pretty nifty to see. Um, now each machine gets an overview uh, that shows things like parts and anatomy and things like that. But then it goes into setups for each of those machines. So this is the section for the engine lathe, and that's about how big it is. This goes from page 199 to page 255, showing everything from turning between centers, taper turning, knurling, uh, parting, grinding with a tool post grinder, threads of all different kinds, you name it, it's in here. It is a bit out of date because it shows the rocker style tool post and says that that is the uh, most common type of, uh, of tool post. That probably wasn't even true in 1973, um, but that's good because even though it is out of date, it covers things like the shaper. Uh, the shaper is really not covered in a whole lot of areas, so having something like this that is a little bit older is nice because it shows a lot of setups and operations that you can do on the shaper, and that's information that you just don't find in modern textbooks anymore. Um, the uh, section on the milling machine, likewise they have the anatomy and all that stuff, then it goes into all the different types of operations you can do there. Um, and it covers horizontals and verticals, covers dividing, uh, tons of setup picks, as you can see. And there's actually about 20 pages back here that covers gears and gear cutting, including all the math, lots of charts. Um, pretty nice to have. Uh, so even back here... Uh, these are all sorts of different dimensions for common gears. Uh, that's that's really, really neat. <clears throat> then uh, it goes into this production turning and talks about turret lathes and screw machines. And back here, there's actually a print for a project that you can do on a turret lathe. And it talks about the different operations that you would use to make that part. Now, of course, here it's a cool project that you could actually do. This is a center punch. Um, and so you could easily make this on an engine lathe as well. Um, talks about grinding machines and it covers blanchard grinders, surface grinders and cylindrical grinders uh, and all sorts of things about radiusing wheels. Um, uh, then it goes into different types of steels and alloys. It talks about heat treating, 
uh, including hardness testing and things like that, uh, all sorts of tempering information, uh, heat treat ovens, uh, really nifty stuff. Talks about machinability of different materials. Um, it does actually go in and cover a bit on numerical control, and this is where the uh, the book really shows its age because a lot has changed since 1973. Uh, of course, it talks about using punch cards and magnetic tape back here, so obviously that's not true anymore. Um, it talks a little bit about electrical discharge machining and those types of uh, of operations. Again, a lot has changed since then, uh, but it's nice that it gets covered. Um, and then in the back. There are review questions for all of the chapters. Again, this is a textbook, so this would be the kind of thing that would have been passed out to students, and these questions would need to be answered. And then there are just a ton of handy charts in the back with thread information, drill charts, goes into speeds and feeds for different materials. Uh, so a really cool book, and I think this is one that should definitely be in everyone's library if you're getting into the trade. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.